What's well, good again, you guys? So you read the title. This is uh, gonna be, I feel like this is gonna get a lot of traction because my last blow off out video, that got a lot of traction, a lot of questions, a lot of people not understanding that you should not use a vent to atmosphere blow off valve when you're not tuned for speed density, right? So today what I have is should help a lot of people solve this question if they want to get speed density or not. I didn't want to get speed density. I know it's cooler to get it to vent to atmosphere, but we have a solution. So it's been on back order. I've waited for a long time, about three months, um, but the sponsors, Grim Speed hooked it up. I've got a new Grim Speed BPV. Let me show you. All right, here we go. I'm trying to get angles for you guys, man. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. But here, here it is, y'all. Grim Speed box. We're just gonna put it on the carbon trunk. Open that up. I already opened it up. You know, I had to check it out first, but basically it came with a sticker and it came with this thank you for your purchase card. Nice big old mamma jamma here. There she be. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, apparently this is a revised version. That's why it's been taking so long to get them. Um, I looked in the old, older videos. There used to be a little circle here that's not there anymore. And um, it looks like that's the only difference. Maybe they were getting leaks or something from there. Um, there is an O-ring here as well, so you don't need to install your gasket when you take this one off. And we're going to do that later today. Um, uh, this looks like this does swivel here. Uh, I'm not sure yeah, how that'll affect leaking or anything. And then you do take off um, two pieces from the old one, and we, we are going to place those there. So let's get a comparison under the hood of the old one to the new one really quick. The cool thing about this will be um, you you can see the stock BPV there, and you can see how, uh, how the hood. I gotta repaint this. Don't worry about that. But at car shows, you'll be able to see that red and uh, anodized, you know, one peeking through. That'll be real nice because you can see the red there. So that'll be a nice little addition here. This should be a really easy install. One 12 millimeter bolt there, one 12 millimeter bolt there. Take some uh, vice grips right there, and once you get the piece off, like I said, once you take that whole piece off, you're gonna have two Phillips head screws, as you can see, one there, and one there, and we'll take those off. Also, you should be able to just kind of pull this off. Um, I'm gonna try and pull it off now, I'm not, uh, the best. Actually, no, we're going to drive it around and get some sounds real quick. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we'll get us a little sound clip real quick. Hopefully, y'all can hear it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not. I will keep it funky with y'all. I'm running out of daylight, so let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter, break it loose. There we go. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get this on. All right, you take our bolts. You don't wanna drop those, put them up here. This should come off. You can see there. Vacuum hose popped right off. And now we're gonna go get those vice grips real quick. It's a straight pain in the ass, but once you get it unclipped, 
squiggle it loose, comes right out. And then here are your Phillips that you're gonna take off. That's so crazy. This is just the stock BPV. But we're gonna take these off right now. All right, so I took a little stubby here. These suck too. But basically, that comes out. I got this one here. This one comes out too. Okay, so here's the old. Here's the new. So basically what we're gonna do is pop this one off. I mean, it has to unscrew, but basically pop this off. So there's no messing up, you know, put it upside down or anything. Just come right over here. We're gonna screw those in right now. Take your time. We don't want any cross threading. I don't think there's any gaskets that come with this. I also would highly recommend you go back and forth. Don't just do one side. Just make sure it's nice and evenly on there. There's your O-ring gasket. That's why you don't need to have a gasket on when you take this old one off. I think hand tight should do though. So there we go. Now, um, let's go ahead and look at the difference. Looks like that piston's just a little bit bigger there. But honestly, I mean, Stock ones are great for, for stock setup and even a little bit of, you know, mods. But uh, when you start getting into bigger uh, turbo territory, I mean, look at the size difference of that piston. So let's go ahead and slap her on now. Almost done already. Now the hard part again. I'm gonna have to try and put this bad boy back on there. This just sucks, because there's just not a lot of room. You don't want to rip it. Yeah way easier pushing it back in there that's what she said I'm gonna give y'all a heads up this clamp this clamp can eat a bag of you know what all right basically get your needle nose pliers and clamp that all the way past this that way you can get it on there it is very hard to get it into that section though right there but once you get it, just take it completely off and then clamp it all the way. And then once you get it all insecure, you can clamp on it again and it'll loosen and then it'll adjust itself. So just a, man, this thing wasted a lot of my time right here. <laughs> There's clip on there. <laughs> I want y'all to see how this is supposed to look. Clips on there nice and tight. Actually it's loose right now, but we're gonna go ahead and pop it. It's nice and tight. Clips are on this is on now all we got to do is bolt this thing down real quick got the vacuum line on move that basically all we got to do is line this up get these bolts back in here and we're good to go baby per square inch whatever i don't know what the hell it is it ain't a lot it's aluminum <laughs> all right We are finished. <laughs> grim speed, grim speed, grim speed, and grim speed. <laughs> so I'm test driving, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't hear a significant difference. I'm not getting the same sounds that I was hearing. Maybe because I got a different tune and stuff. Hang on. I don't know guys. That doesn't sound no different. Put the, let me put this up. And maybe that's maybe that's what it's doing for the stock turbos. I'm in sport sharp now. Let's see what we can get. Got E85 in. Let's see if we can. Oh wow. Well, it's definitely holding more boost. 
because I just did about 20 pounds and it's definitely feel, feels like it's pulling way harder. All right, you guys, I have to say, I, I apologize for the dirt bikes in the background. My neighbors are riding them right now. But um, anyways, I want to give you guys a rundown of one of my thoughts of the Grimspeed Bypass Valve. About a week with driving with it, right? So I actually ended up calling Grimspeed and trying to get some of my questions answered because it was not what I expected. It, uh, I didn't get the flutter, the foot, -th 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 -th. you know, I didn't get that. And usually that's a bad sound anyway, so I wanted to further find out what it was supposed to sound like right so basically when I called they did verify with me that this is a different version than the first original batch this is a version 2 so they basically came out with a different version to be more cost-effective and make these parts faster for everybody so the first thing that's going to be different is if you look at the version 1 and compared to the version 2 and I'll probably put a, a video um, there's like a check valve that's on the side where you can unscrew on the version one, so like a black bolt on the side. That's not on this one, right? They also told me that um, it is made, that the piston was originally made out of brass. That piston is now made out of anodized 6066, I believe is what they told me. And um, so it's a bit more durable. And then um, they also, one of the big, the biggest thing I think is they are using a lighter spring inside of there now. I think that the version ones were probably a heavier spring, especially for those with a stock turbo. And you probably were getting a little bit of, of turbo flutter, most likely, because this is it's a recirculating system. So that sounds gotta come from somewhere. I, I, and that's what I think. They also told me though, one of the biggest things is that the sound will vary depending on your build. So me, I have a Blouse Dom Turbo, 1.5 XTR, um, all the Botons and stuff. So I barely heard a big difference. Uh, it is noticeably a little bit louder, but not a super big difference. Sorry guys. <laughs> I mean, hey, this is a car channel, right? So anyways, <laughs> I personally didn't know a huge difference, but what I did see is that it held boost better. I probably held about another pound of boost better. And I obviously, it's gonna look better, you know? When it's under, when it's on, you know, when I pop the hood and I show, it's, it's anodized red like it's way better than the stock bypass valve so um, just for those simple facts alone I'm, I'm okay with it it's holding boost a little bit better and it looks aesthetic, aesthetically eye pleasing that's fine with me um, what else though I think I really think that's about it um, I, I probably posted a video driving with it you really can't hear a difference being that I have an external wastegate too um, but yeah I mean I still like the product I'm still gonna rock with it um, and uh, yeah I mean I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what this new version 2 looks like I really haven't seen many videos on this besides installing and a lot of people don't give the you know appropriate reviews that I've that I've seen I don't really get you know what I what I expect to see so hopefully you guys are enjoying this y'all already know what to do if y'all um, are gonna grab one leave a comment in below and let me know when you're going to grab yours. Um, I did have to wait. I ordered this in December and, and I got it and now it's April. So um, if you're still waiting on yours, leave a comment. And um, like I said, I've spoke with Grimspeed, so uh, don't be surprised if they're in the comments here. Um, try, I'm trying to help you guys out maybe, who knows. Um, but yeah, yeah guys, uh, th that's really it. Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Y'all already know, y'all already know help the channel out we growing we're growing slowly but you know we growing and showing baby <laughs> anyways i appreciate y'all so much i hope y'all enjoyed the review and uh yeah i'll catch y'all later peace